Hey guys, good morning everyone. Welcome to another video and today, guess what? We're in Paris! And one more surprise guys. We're with my family, my brother, my daddy, my mommy. You, you remember my mommy who said the vocation? <laughs> Everybody still remembers that, you know? Okay, and this is my mom, my dad, and my brother. And then we are Amalia as always. But, uh, so yeah, just now we took the Eurostar from London St Pancras. Uh, it was quite a long journey, it's like 2 hours 45 minutes. But it was really comfortable because Eurostar is the way to travel. It's the better way of transport to get to Paris from London than flying. Because flying you still have to go to Charles de Gaulle and then you still have to find a train to get into the city. So this is a more convenient way and there's also food on board and the view is amazing throughout the way. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna explore Paris for the next four days. And firstly, we still cannot check into Airbnb yet. We decided to have lunch here at Grocery Barbs. Barbs I think the area, the name of this area it's is called Barb. Barbs. Barbs. I don't know how Barbs. To say. Barbs, I think. Barbs. <laughs> time to eat and then time to explore. Very. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alright, that was good. Portion is huge, which is quite surprising. And now it's time to head to our Airbnb. Okay guys, I actually don't know how to play the piano But there's a piano in the Airbnb, cool right? Let's do a quick Airbnb tour And then we can go and explore Paris This is the main room This has the biggest bed And also The biggest TV And the view is also quite nice There's also a small bed over here An ensuite bathroom Yeah and the view is that one. Not bad, not bad. Where daddy is laying over there, that's the sofa bed, that's the living room. And mama is sitting on the dining table, the dining chair. And also good view and futong is on the... There's so many beds here, I don't know why. Crazy, and then more view! People. Apparently it's for 8 people. Oh, yeah. oh. But the kitchen is not well equipped. Okay. And this here is the kitchen. Sorry for the echo. It's very echoey in here. There's no tea. Yeah, it's quite basic yeah. For the price you're paying in Paris, you're getting a less luxurious experience as you would in other cities in Europe. So the Airbnb here is, yeah, in Paris, especially Paris Central, is quite disappointing because the building is quite sad. It's quite old as well. And this is actually quite expensive, so... Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, so just a short walk away from our Airbnb is the famous Sacre Coeur which is a Roman Catholic church and it's located in Montmartre which is very near to where we are staying Okay, one thing I need to tell you guys about this place is this is the first place that I visited when I came to Paris the first time that was many many years ago and you can see just now, some vendors, they are asking you to be their friends. And they are right over there somewhere. So the first time I was here, a group of them kind of surrounded me and they grabbed my arms. So I was surrounded and it was like 8am or I think it was 8.30 and there was no one here. So it was me and a group of people. So I had to shout for help and thankfully, there was some guy that looked like a police officer that was walking around. So they let me go and I just ran. So uh, this place can be quite dangerous and if you do encounter people that are trying to put friendship bands on you What you should do is you shouldn't just run Instead what you should do is you should say no merci and they should leave you alone uh, and just look angry while you're doing it Lesson learned for me Yeah But today there are uh, a today lot of people there, Yeah there was uh, so okay. And also today there was one couple that was experiencing that for their first time Victimized So they are the first victim unfortunately so yeah so you just have to be careful about that, guys.
So yeah guys, behind me that's the Montmartre market. It's just right outside Sakraku on the same level so you don't have to go down to the Montmartre Montmartre. A lot of things to buy, a lot of souvenirs. And we just bought some prints which is quite cheap. 7 euros for 4 prints which is really really good deal and we're gonna display it in our house. So yeah, let's go to Mulan Rouge. Wow mama, so many things huh? What did you buy? <laughs> for who? For who? Uh, for a titi, for a kunkun. For the fish la, the fish yeah. eater. <laughs> sui ah. Sui sui. That shop next to this, this guy is a bit more rude. More what? More <laughs> rude. More rude. More rude oh. So mama happy or not? Happy. Yeah, mama shopping is uh, is the most happy. Yeah. Rouge, citron, boulevard, fish. Uh, guys, yeah, so behind me that's the famous, absolutely infamous Moulin Rouge and it's just a cabaret show really and it's nothing special about it when you're here it's very underwhelming because in the movie that you probably saw because this is popularized by the movie of the same name which is Moulin Rouge starring Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor it looks really spectacular in the movie but it's quite underwhelming maybe if we enter it'll be quite nice but I don't think I'm interested in anything that they have to show in there Putong, would you enter? Yes, Not with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> are So guys, we're at the next stop for the day and this is Champs Elysees, the most important shopping area in the whole of Europe and behind me, that's Arc du Triomphe. Hold on! A lot of tourists here will be more interested in that Louis Vuitton shop there than the actual Arc du Triomphe because that's the Louis Vuitton store and I can show you guys the, the queue is insane. The queue is insane, okay, let me show you. Look at that queue guys, look at that, look at that. Whoa! I'm sure if you queue that long just to enter that shop, you better buy at least two or three bags. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is Arc de Triomphe in the Full Metal Alchemy. It's a, it's a gate between the witchcraft alchemy world and this world. <laughs> Okay, so where are we right now? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Not really. Uh. Yeah. Wow. If you don't Eiffel know. Eiffel Tower and the two cranes. Okay, what happens if somebody that is watching doesn't know Eiffel Tower? I don't know where have you been living. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the two metal. Uh. It's, okay. it's the rock you live in, very cozy. It's yeah. just Eiffel Tower, guys. And it's quite disappointing because there's some cranes over there. What in the world is that? The best view is supposedly from here, which is Trocadero. But unfortunately, there are some cranes over there. So maybe you can get it from the other side. But mom is already too tired, so probably we're gonna head to dinner and then head back. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Or maybe you'll see day two. 